We've taken out the metatarsal head to simulate bone loss for the revision. So what we're going to do is use the revision dowel to bridge this gap between the proximal phalanx and the first metatarsal, but also anchoring it into each bone so that we create a stable construct for our implants. You're going to want to put a guide wire down to get into the first metatarsal. It's also going to give you all that great little morphalized bone graft. So the idea is using that dowel to go through here. And then you're going to do the same thing on the proximal phalanx. The idea with these big reamers, it's real easy to go through things. Sort of be careful, gentle pressure, take your time. So now you have a receptacle on both ends for the core piece. So the hardest part about it is deciding how much of that gap you want to use to fill the core and how close you want to get these two together. So the idea is to impact that peg. Put it in that way so that you now have that dowel doing all your stability and then your implant of choice, whatever plate you want over top. You have all that can't sell us material that you, your reamings came out and you'll put them or the cortical fibers along each side to sort of fill it in. Now you see with that core alone, there's the stability I have.